And welcome back, everyone. We are tra tracking Tropical Storm Barry. We want to go live to St. Bernard Parish now, where the Sheriff of St. Bernard is now giving an update on what's happening there. We'll be available to respond to any emergency calls down there if we can, uh, and we'll do the best we can responding to those emergencies. So if you haven't gotten your equipment out of there, it's not likely you're going to get your equipment out of there. If you currently stay in down there and you can leave safely and you want to come out, that access road will give you access to get out to East and Father Parish. So with that, the next event that we're very concerned about, of course, is going to be the rain event. Projections could be, you know, upwards of, of 10 to 15, uh, from what I understand, inches of rain and a very, uh, uh, over across two days. So what do we do to deal with that? Well, we fully staffed, uh, we have double the amount of people on the street that's patrolling. We preposition barricades throughout the parish on prone areas that's known to flood that we can set up uh, in, a, in a moment's notice to block streets off and control traffic in flooded areas. Now, with that much rain, there's a lot of things going to be flooded. A lot of streets going to be flooded in St. Bernard Parish. So we ask, if you haven't gotten out, to execute your plan. If you plan on staying here in the parish tonight and throughout tomorrow, please do so now. Because once these streets flooded, we do not want anybody out on the street. Period. The end. It's not safe for you to travel. It's very difficult. It's not fair for people who have flooding on their streets to have some knucklehead and some big truck driving down the street and pushing water into residents' houses. I can tell you, we will have zero tolerance for it. If we catch you, or if a homeowner catches you on video, well, we can identify your vehicle through a license plate. You will get a knock at your door, and you're going to have to deal with us. Period. The end. Period. The end. Okay, it's my job to protect lives and property, and we're going to do that. We will do that. So again, if you don't have to be out on the street, stay off the street. Once that rain starts, it's not likely to stop into the next 24 or 36 hours. Please keep that in mind. The, the parish officials have been working hard. I've seen a post today, and guy we trust. And guy we trust. And so my point is that, that's probably the only thing I take off of social media today. But do not do, do not trust the information you get off of social media. Trust your local officials. These guys have been working very hard to make sure you get the most current and accurate information that's provided by the professionals who do this do this stuff day in and day out. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Did I ask you to speak? <laughs> Thank you, Sheriff. Sheriff's been doing this all his life, since 18 years old, and we appreciate your service to our community. Thank you. Derek Bates from the Flood Authority. I don't think I can follow the Sheriff very well. <laughs> uh, Derek Bates with the Flood Protection Authority East. want to give everybody an update. Uh, every single gate on the Mississippi River has been closed in both St. Bernard Parish and Orleans Parish uh, as of late last night. We made the decision to close all the sector gates. That's by Avenue, by Dupree, and Carnarvon. We had plans originally to close those all early this morning. The wind forced our hand. Uh, that is an issue. While many of the time, much of the time we use tide and surge as the triggers to close our gates, if the wind gets too high before that, we simply can't close them. And that's what happened with Bayou Dupree yesterday. We had to close at 11 hours earlier than anticipated. So that's what happened. Uh, that we also went and looked at every single gate throughout the entire system. That led us to look at the surge possibility at the Carnarvon Gate and on Highway 39. Uh, in cooperation with the parish and the sheriff's office, we successfully closed that late last night as, as well as Highway 300. We thought that we would be able to keep uh, Highway 46 open throughout the duration of the event in consultation with the Coastal, Prote Coastal Protection Restoration Authority and the governor's office. We made the decision that for uh, public safety and an abundance of caution, we needed to close that gate. Uh, it was scheduled to be closed at 6 o'clock tonight. 
Again, the wind forced our hand. We were seeing 32 mile an hour winds sustained out at Shell Beach, and once we get into that range, we run into uh, serious difficulties. So, uh, as the sheriff said, they may already be closed, but that is ongoing right now. I'll uh, echo, there are those emergency access ramps at both Highway 46 and Highway 39 for anybody on the outside of the system that they can get back safely. That's very important. Uh, Mississippi River Levee is a big question in many people's minds. Uh, I want to tell everybody in St. Bernard Parish, as of yesterday, and we anticipate that until we start seeing the surge, there was a minimum of six foot of freeboard between the top of the water and the top of the levee. You were all hearing the reports about, you know, three to four feet of storm surge coming up the Mississippi River. We're, you have six feet of freeboard in St. Bernard Parish. So we are absolutely confident uh, that the system is going to perform very well and we do not anticipate any overtopping. Uh, and finally, coming to the drainage pump stations, we checked all the canals this week, took out debris. Uh, I'll echo some of the, you know, don't drive in the high water and all that kind of stuff. I would tell people, don't throw trash in the canals because all you do is hurt yourself and your neighbor because then the water can't drain properly. Um, but the pump stations are fully manned and they're ready to go. We've kept the canals pumped down all this week and we will continue to do so throughout the duration of this event. Thank you. Thank you, Derek. Um, that's, that's it from all the professionals. I, I do want to recognize our professionals who we listen to and guide us and giving information to the citizens of St. Bernard Parish. We've been here for a long time, guys. We're a little giddy. Um, but I do want to recognize our, our uh, fire chief, Chief Stone, who's been uh, doing this for a gazillion years. Thank you for all of your information and, and guidance. And the state police, Monty Matalongo, Jr., we want to thank the state police for being here for the citizens of St. Bernard Parish. And Derek, I want to thank you for all you do at the Flood Authority. You know, we've been talking about a lot of different things and a lot of issues with the Florida Flood Authority, right, Ray, over the last couple of years, and it's uh, contentious, it's controversial, but Derek, you've been a professional. You've um, listened to our concerns. You've helped our fishermen get into safe harbor, and uh, we really appreciate your um, professionalism and work with the $14 billion system that protects us all here in the region. So we know you have a lot on your hands. So we have some officials that want to um, speak. Uh, Council Member Richie Lewis. Thank you, President McGinnis. Councilman Richie Lewis, I just want to let the residents know that all of your council members have been here working every day. We've been on the street. We've been cleaning catch basins. We've been answering phone calls. Guys who are answering Facebook, if you have any debris that's out at your house that needs to be picked up, we still have crews out there that can do that as long as the weather holds up and we can do it safely, we will. Um, just some reminders, stay away from power lines, stay away from anything that looks dangerous, don't hesitate to call in. Someone will come out, we will assist you, again, as long as it's a, a safe condition and we can get out there to do that. Um, and and. God bless, be safe, make a plan for your family, and, and activate it. Thank you. Thank you, Richie. Um, our council members work hard. A lot of them are here today. Ms. Wanda, Howard, Gillis McCluskey, Monty Montalongo. Thank you guys for your service. I know you guys have been out in the neighborhoods making sure we're picking up all the debris and our catch basins are clean. So thank you so much. Our parish is safer um, because of you. We have a great relationship with um, our state officials. Um, Representative Garofalo is here today. Um, that connection with the governor and his aggressiveness and making sure that the citizens of St. Bernard Parish are safe, we appreciate all of those lines of communications um, hourly um, during the day. So, Representative Garofalo, thank you for your service and have a few words. Thank you, President McGinnis. Uh, and I just want to echo what President McGinnis said. Uh, we've been in constant contact with our friends at GOSEP and CPRA, and we've already heard guys say that. Um, Mr. B Mr. Bass from the Flood Protection Authority, who we have had issues with. Everyone from top down has been very cooperative and offered us every support and assistance that we could possibly need. So from that perspective, from the state perspective, I really appreciate the help that we're getting from Baton Rouge and from the lakefront at this point. And I really believe that we have the true honest professionals protecting us, protecting my family who's still down here. And I, I believe that we're all safe right now. Let's hope that that continues. God bless and good luck. 
Thank you, Ray. So, you know, I do want to say, you know, our staff, you know, our CAO, Ronnie Alonzo, right, right here behind us, and our direct, he's behind the sheriff. Sheriff, you're going to have to move this way. So <laughs> <laughs> and our director of coastal operations, John Lane, thank you guys for all your work. Our staff, our office staff, and all of our employees who are out on the streets working hard to keep the citizens of St. Bernard Parish safe. They have families too, right? So we want to thank them for what they're doing. Um, we know that, that their families are safe, that they're, they're, we're doing everything we can to help them um, make sure that they provide for their families. So we want to thank them uh, for their Herculean effort leading up to this um, event. And they do this every single time we have a storm uh, in the Gulf. So thank you guys, a lot of you are here today. Thank you so much, and I hope our guys in the field um, know that we're thinking of them and their families. I just want to make sure that the citizens of St. Bernard Parish stay vigilant. I want to make sure that we, you listen to the correct information from your state and local officials in determining how to keep your family safe. The window is closing. Please make your preparations. The models stay steady. There's no flooding inside of the levee system from river overtopping. That is still remains the predictions. So I want to make sure we get about, give out our emergency telephone number, 271-1681. We ask residents to monitor, monitor all St. Bernard Parish government media outlets, Cox Channel 76, our website at sbpg.net, and, and St. Bernard Parish government's Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And the last thing I want to say is, you know, we got all of these big things we talk about, the river overtopping, the big rain. Please pick up your garbage cans. We have garbage cans flying around all of our neighborhoods, and it's only going to get worse. So just like the sheriff says, don't drive down flooded streets. <clears throat> Before they get flooded, pick up your garbage can. So if we have any questions, we'll take some. If not, Yeah, when the weather starts to deteriorate, that's it's simple. It's as simple as that. You know, you're going to have an onset of heavy rain, and and, and I'm not sure exactly when that's going to start. You know, late this afternoon, or late this evening, into the night, in tomorrow. Just watch the weather. It's well, the, the weather guys do a great job to make it simple for you. I'd rather listen to those guys and go to these conference calls, man. I'm telling you, they really do. And just pay attention to what's going on around you. And if, if the rain's going to start and uh, you know, and it's a potential for flooding, stay home. Cuddle up with your lovely wife and watch a movie or something. <laughs> and, and remember what he said earlier, just don't be a knucklehead, right? Right, sir? That's what I said, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? We good? Thank you, guys. Everybody be safe and God bless. Okay, good one. <laughs>